right well welcome to my little video um, before I demonstrate the issue a little bit of backstory um, the problem my R3 is having or has been having for the past few months since earlier in the year uh, refers to the start in both hot and cold and you'll see what I'm talking about when I actually fire it up but in order to try and overcome this um, no end of stuff's been changed on the car a brand new set of D585s, leads, new iridium plugs, uh, fuel pumps been changed, fuel pump relays. I tried a different low speed fuel pump resistor, uh, throttle body's been changed, different MAF sensors, um, all pretty much to no avail. So basically, this is what's occurring if we, the car is now stone cold. So if I switch on, everything boot up one thing i did notice normally i just wait until now for the airbag light to go out before i fire up but i did notice some time ago when i left the ignition on without starting that if you keep an eye on the engine light look it suddenly flashes eight times uh, and then becomes steady again i don't know what's that what that signifies um, or if it's got anything to do with the problem but Anyway, this is the problem, without touching any throttle, without giving any throttle or touching any pedals, from cold. It just fires straight away, hunts for a little bit, and then just dies, instead of going straight up to that clean, fast idle. So we just give it another go. I'll just wait for the airbag lights to go out this time rather than showing that flashing CEL again. See, it hits the fast idle for a second or two. Ah. Now it seems to have sorted itself out. It's still not completely healthy, but I'm still not touching any pedal. Now sometimes it takes, unless I actually have to goose the throttle, it sometimes takes two or three attempts, four attempts, before it finally starts up without any throttle. So it's it sort of behaved itself a little bit better today. I'll take the car for a run now, get it warm, and then demonstrate what happens when it's fully heated up. Um, because as you can see, it's stone cold. And uh, I look forward to any thoughts. All right, so welcome back to part two. And as you can see, we've been for a run almost 10 miles got it fully warmed up idling nice and steady the fast idle is something that I had Nick Penny of 13 Black Rotorsport do um, because it was having trouble holding idle as well um, on its normal setting so he flashed it flashed the PCM to give it a slightly higher fast idle um, but anyway let's have a look at the the hot starting oh yeah and it sometimes occasionally there's a little hiccup like that as you can see um, the revs drop slightly and it tends to stumble so let's switch off and again without touching the throttle pedal ah, it's picked up Again, similar to the cold start, it usually requires a touch of throttle to keep it from stalling. Uh, it didn't that time. Let's just try it one more time. Just to see. Because it's making a liar out of me. Shoots up. Now I'm not touching the throttle pedal there. My foot isn't on the throttle pedal at all, I'm not touching anything. Um, so, quite unusual behaviour and obviously a starting issue. But the car fires readily enough when it's hot, so it tends not to point to compression. But obviously, I'm willing to be guided, having spent what I've spent on the car. I'm willing to be guided by those who know better. Uh, when the car's on the road, it drives fine. It 
red lines, it beeps, it pulls like a train, it's no problem driving it. It's just this starting issue. That, that was me, obviously. So, again, you see the fluctuating idle. Okay, so there you had it. A troublesome R3. I appreciate all and any feedback. Thanks for watching.